As we reported by Army Recognition on August 18, 2023, Brazil is looking to acquire 36 self-propelled guns to strengthen its ground forces. We mentioned French, Turkish, and Swedish guns, but now India is also positioning itself in this tender, offering its own self-propelled guns to the Brazilian Armed Forces. This offer follows the visit of the Brazilian Armed Forces Commander-in-Chief, General Peva, on September 1, 2023. On August 18, 2023, the Brazilian Army Commission issued a request for proposal, RFP, and a request for tender, RFT, to acquire 155mm wheeled self-propelled armored combat vehicles, BBC OAP 155mm SR. General Peva, who has been in India since August 31, 2023, attended several discussions at India's South Bloc. He also observed a live demonstration of the Indian Army's capabilities at the Pokhran firing ranges. The contract aims to acquire approximately 36 of these wheeled self-propelled artillery units to meet the current needs of the Brazilian Army. The new artillery is expected to enhance the Brazilian Army's firepower, covering a range of 20 to 40 kilometers, which is not achievable with their existing 155mm self-propelled howitzers nearing the end of their operational life. According to industry reports, Israel's Elbit Systems is offering its 155mm-52 caliber Atmos truck-mounted howitzer, while France's Nexter is also in competition with its 155mm Caesar artillery system. Turkish defense firm MKE has also expressed interest, showcasing its truck-mounted howitzer Yavuz. But now India is also entering this market with its own self-propelled gun, the 155mm per 52 calories mounted gun system, MGS, which was presented to General Pava. The MGS features a fortified cab at the front, designed to shield against small arms fire and shrapnel from artillery shells. Operated by a seven-member crew, all firing activities can be executed from within the safety of this cab. The truck's rear section is equipped with a 155mm, 52 caliber ATAGS, advanced towed artillery gun system, capable of carrying 24 rounds and charges. Initiated by India's DRDO in 2013, the ATAGS project aims to phase out older artillery systems in the Indian Army. The gun assembly includes a barrel, breech mechanism, muzzle brake, and a recoil system, allowing it to fire 155mm shells up to a maximum distance of 48 km. The MGS also boasts a shoot-and-scoot capability, an artillery tactic that involves firing at an enemy target and then quickly relocating to evade retaliatory fire. With ERFB High Explosive Extended Range BT, ammunition, the MGS can achieve a maximum firing range of 35 km and up to 45 km when using ERFB BB, artillery rounds. The artillery system has a horizontal traverse of approximately 25 degrees and a vertical elevation range from 0 degrees to 72 degrees. It can unleash a burst of 3 rounds in under 30 seconds and maintain a sustained firing rate of 42 rounds per hour. The MGS can be combat ready, firing its first round in less than 80 seconds, and can vacate its firing position in under 85 seconds. On the road, the truck can reach top speeds of 80 km per hour and manage 40 km per hour in off-road conditions. It remains to be seen which system Brazil will choose, but the Indian system certainly has its merits.